Airlines have been quietly becoming banks in a number of ways, primarily through the sale of frequent flyer miles to credit card companies. Here's how it works. One airline sell frequent flyer miles to credit card companies. Airlines generate a significant portion of their revenue by selling frequent flyer miles to credit card companies. The credit card companies then use these miles as a reward for their customers who use the card for purchases. Two credit card companies issue co-branded credit cards. Credit card companies issue co-branded credit cards with airlines, which allow customers to earn frequent flyer miles for every dollar they spend using the card. Three airlines use miles as collateral for loans. Airlines can use the miles they have sold to credit card companies as collateral for loans. This is because frequent flyer miles have a cash value that can be estimated and used as collateral. Four airlines issue their own credit cards. Some airlines have started issuing their own credit cards, allowing customers to earn miles directly with the airline instead of through a co-branded credit card. Five airline customers offer financial services. Airlines have started offering financial services such as loans, insurance, and investment products to their customers. How Airlines Become Banks Airlines can become like banks in a few ways, but the most common way is through offering financial services such as credit cards, loans, and insurance to their customers. One of the main ways airlines generate revenue is by selling tickets to passengers. However, airlines also have a lot of data on their customers, including their travel habits, credit scores, and purchasing behaviors. This data is valuable to financial institutions, who may be interested in partnering with airlines to offer financial products to their customers. For example, many airlines partner with banks to offer co-branded credit cards. These credit cards offer rewards and perks such as airline miles, priority boarding, and free checked bags. The airlines earn a commission on every transaction made with the card, and the bank earns interest on the balance carried by the cardholder. Airlines can also offer loans and insurance products to their customers, either directly or through partnerships with financial institutions. For example, some airlines offer travel insurance that covers flight cancellations, lost luggage, and other travel-related expenses. The airline earns a commission on every policy sold, and the insurance company earns the premium paid by the customer. In addition to these financial products, airlines can also invest their own funds in various financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, and other securities. This can generate additional revenue for the airline and help them build up their own reserves. Airline Marketing Airline marketing refers to the strategies and tactics that airlines use to promote their brand, attract customers, and generate revenue. Effective airline marketing involves a combination of traditional and digital marketing techniques such as advertising, social media, email marketing, loyalty programs, and partnerships. Here are some examples of common airline marketing strategies. 1. Targeted Advertising Airlines use targeted advertising to reach specific demographics such as frequent travelers, families, or budget-conscious consumers. This can include print ads, online ads, and even in-flight magazine ads. 2. Social Media Airlines use social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn to engage with customers, share promotions and news, and build brand awareness. 3. Email Marketing Airlines use email marketing campaigns to promote special deals, loyalty programs, and other offerings to their customer base. 4. Loyalty Programs Airlines offer loyalty programs to incentivize customers to continue flying with them. These programs often include perks such as priority boarding, access to airport lounges, and bonus miles. 5. Partnerships Airlines partner with other companies, such as hotels, car rental agencies, and credit card companies, to offer bundled deals and promotions to their customers. 6. Event Sponsorships Airlines sponsor events such as concerts, sports games, and festivals to increase brand awareness and connect with potential customers. 7. Influencer Marketing Airlines work with influencers, such as travel bloggers and social media personalities, to promote their brand and reach new audiences. Airline Financing Airline financing refers to the methods by which airlines raise capital to fund their operations, purchase new aircraft, and invest in other areas of their business. There are several different types of financing that airlines can use, including 1. Equity Financing This involves selling shares of ownership in the airline to investors. 
In exchange for their investment, investors receive a percentage of the airline's profits. 2. Debt Financing This involves borrowing money from banks, financial institutions, or other sources to fund the airline's operations or purchase new aircraft. The airline agrees to pay back the loan over time, typically with interest. 3. Operating Leases This involves leasing aircraft from a leasing company instead of purchasing them outright. The airline pays a monthly fee to use the aircraft, but does not own it. 4. Sale and Leaseback This involves selling an aircraft to a leasing company and then leasing it back from them. This can provide the airline with an influx of cash while still allowing them to use the aircraft. 5. Government Financing some governments provide financing or loan guarantees to airlines to support their operations. This is often done to promote economic development or to maintain air service in remote or underserved areas. Each of these methods of financing has its own advantages and disadvantages, and airlines will typically use a combination of them to meet their financing needs. Ultimately, the choice of financing method will depend on the airline's financial situation, its goals, and the prevailing market conditions. Airlines Market Maps Market maps of airlines provide a visual representation of how airlines compete with each other in different markets and how they position themselves within the airline industry. One common way to create a market map of airlines is to use a two-dimensional grid, with one axis representing price and the other representing quality or some other measure of value. Each airline is then plotted on the grid according to its perceived price and quality position relative to other airlines in the same market. Another approach is to create a network diagram that shows the relationships between airlines and their routes, destinations, and alliances. This type of map can help to illustrate the complexity of the airline industry and how airlines cooperate and compete with each other in different regions of the world.